Hello, fellow scratchers. In this episode, we are going to be using scores to count how many times we click the cookie. So let's go on with it. So, if you go to the score sprite, you can see over here that we have all of these customs. <clears throat> there we go. We have the custom 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to custom 9. So we are going to start coding these. So when green flag click, we want it to appear at the black part. So I'll start coding it first. So we'll make it go to the front layer and I want to create a new block. Now we're going to make this new block. So first we'll add a text that says custom, another text that is x, and add an input which is x. And another, add a label, which is Y, and another spacing. Okay. Don't forget, don't forget to click the run without screen refresh. Now we'll add the custom block to custom. The X position and the Y position to the position you want it to be. And the spacing is the choice of yours too. Now create a new variable. Okay, name it score, old score, and set it to cookie. Then we want to wait until the old score is not equals to cookie. There we go. Once it's not equals to cookie, then the whole thing will loop around again. Now, create a new broadcast and name it delete clone. And here, we want to add a delete this clone block to it. Okay, now go and add a go to the x and y position and set hashtag aka number to 1. Add a repeat and we want the length of it to be the casting. Repeat the length of casting. Now make a new block, name it color, add an input of color, label brightness, in add another input of brightness and the last label and input of size and click on the run without screen refresh there we go now add a switch custom to below and switch custom to the hashtag number of custom then create clone of myself now add a change x to and put it to the multiply of spacing times the size. And also change hashtag number by one. Then hide it at the end. Now for the color here, we add a clear graphic effect and we want to set the color to the color, set brightness to the brightness, the pink circle, and set size to size percentage. Okay. Now we can go ahead and when I start as a clone, we want to add a loop of it to go to the front layer and making it show. Now go and hide the old score and when you click, ah yes, it did not work. Let me check the problem. Hmm. So after thinking quite a while, I realized that in the repeat, we're supposed to set color to zero, brightness to zero, and set the size to the choice of yours. I'm going to set it to 43. Now you can see that when I click on the cookie, the size will keep increasing. Okay, so now if we are going to create the cookie box, so go to my asset packs here, click on see inside, and you can see I have uploaded this cookie box sprite. So go ahead and backpack it. There we go. Go to your game and bring this out. There we go. Now we are going to code the cookie box where it will fly right hand side. So when green flag click, we'll create a new variable called 
cookie box clicks. Okay, this vote will be for the achievement next episode. And here we want it to go to front layer and hide. So let's start with the coordinates. So we want it to go to this position and pick random from up to down. 100 to negative 100. Then we'll add a loop and wait for wait for pick a pick random of a half seconds to a three minutes. And after you pick random for half second to three minutes, five cookie box lie out from the right. And we will use it as a create clone. Each time a cookie box fly out, we'll wait one second for another one to come. Then when I start as a clone, we want it to glide the X position to the right hand side of the screen and the Y position. There we go. Now add another when I start as a clone. And we want this to turn. We want the cookie bosses to turn right. So first we'll make it go to a X position and a Y position which is pick random. And forever go to front and turn right by five degrees. Now if if the mouse is touching or the mouse click the cookie box, then we want it to change cookie box clicks by one and change cookie by five hundred. There we go. And also switch costume to particles. Which is the five hundred particle. Then we want to repeat five times of it. Five times of it pointing in night in the ninety degree. Point in direction ninety degree so it won't turn. And we want to change Y by two. And change ghost effect by five. And then we want to delete this clone. There we go. Let me clean that up. Now let's see if I put a wait five seconds. And I click the cookie. You can see Cookie Boss flying out from the right. So that's it for today's video. Okay, so in this episode, we have learned how to create the number instead of using variable with a cookie clicker. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in this next video where we are gonna create the shop scrolling shop variable.